Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how we can use De Morgan's to verify given sets. Yeah, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscription button and immediately after that click on the notification button so that you don't miss the videos that I'll be posting. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen. Alright, so let's quickly start solving. Alright, so the question says, given that E, which is the universal set, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have been given two other sets, which is set A and set B. And they are asking us to say, using De Morgan's law, verify the following. So this is a very simple question. So the first thing that you need to do is to first find the left hand side. So on the left we have A intersection B complement. So we are going to find this and then we we'll also find A complement union B complement. So if we get the same answers on both sides, this side and this other side, then we know that our given um, I mean the given expression here the De Morgan, the first uh, De Morgan's law there is correct so let us start with the first one there so we have A intersection B complement so how do we find A intersection B complement the first step is first to find what is in the brackets so in the brackets we have A intersection B so A intersection B is simply just finding the elements that are common in A and B. So the same, the elements that are found in A and B are the ones that we are going to list as A intersection B. So if we check set A and set B there, which elements are common? We have 3 there and 3 there. So we can write 3. Then we have 5, 5. We can also write 5 because it's common. We have... Um, what else that's all the other elements are not found in both sets so we only have three and five so now to find this set which is a intersection b complement we are going to look at the universal set and we'll write all the elements that are in the universal set except what is in a intersection b so what the complement means is that if you have the set if you have the universal set and then you have maybe for instance set A and set B and then if they ask you to find A complement so A complement if you if you've been asked to shed A complement means that you are shedding everything that is in the universal set except A so A complement is simply just listing the elements that are not in A but there are present in the universal set. So same applies to A intersection B complement. So A intersection B complement means that we have to list the elements that are in the intersection of A and B and then yeah so we have to list the elements that are in the, in the intersection of A and B rather we have to list the elements that are in the universal set except or removing those that are in A intersection B that's what this means okay so if we've been asked to shed a intersection b complement we know that a intersection b is this part meaning the complement of that part is everything that is outside the middle part there yeah so we can shed every other part except this part here that's a intersection b complement so in this case since we have numbers here we have elements to find a intersection b means that we are going to list the whole universal set excluding a intersection b so the universal set is one two three is there so we'll skip it we have four five is there so we skip five so we have six seven eight nine ten so this is the solution of A intersection B complement. Let us know. Let us now find this part here, the right hand side. So the right hand side is um, A complement union B complement. So how do we find this? So the first thing that we need to find is um, A complement, and then 
after finding a complement we also have to find b complement and then when we find these two sets we're going to find the union set of these two sets meaning we combine these two sets making sure that we are not writing the common elements um, two times so let's list a complement so a complement is simply just a set of elements that are in the universal set excluding those that are in a so we have so here we have the elements that are not in A but present in the universal set. We have um, two. We have there is one, one there. So two is in the universal set but it's not there. Uh, three is in both the universal and that, so we leave it. Four is also in the universal set but it's not there, so we can write four. Then 5 is there, so we skip it. 6 is there, we skip. Oh, sorry, 6, we can't skip it, it's not there, so we write 6. 7 there, we skip, so we write 8. 9 is there, we skip, we write 10. Mm -hmm. So this is our A complement. Let's quickly move on to B complement. So B complement is simply just listing everything that is not... Um, in B but it is in E which is the universal set so we have 2, 3, 5, 6, 8 there so in E so we have 1, 1 is not in B so we can write 1 there we have 2, 2 is present there 3 is present, mm -hmm. 4 we can write 4 we have um, 5 is there 6 is there 7 is there, oh sorry, 7 is not in B, so we can write that as well. Let me just write this properly. So 7, 8 is there, we leave it, so we have 9 and 10. So now to find this set here, we are going to combine these two sets and making sure that all the elements that are both uh, that are present in both sets, set A complement and B complement, we write them once. So we have four there and four there. We don't have to write four two times. Just write it once. So I'll start with one. There's two there. We don't have three. So we have four. We don't have five. So we have six, seven. So combining the two sets, then we have 8, we have 9, and 10. So 10 is present in both sets, so we just write it once. So if you check, is this set the same as this set here, the solution? So you have 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these sets, these two sets are the same, which shows that we have proved that these are uh, the left side and the right side are equal so we can say hence um or before that you can first say since uh, since the left hand side is identically equal to or you can simply just say it's equal to the right hand side then or hence yeah but you use then there so you say then we have then A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement. So the same way I've done the first one, that's how you do the second one. Let's quickly do the second one. So for the second one, we are going to first um, get the left hand side, which is this part. And we also get the right hand side. Let me just write it here. So we have the right hand side, which is A complement intersection B complement. So A union B complement. To find A union B complement, we first have to find A union B, and then we find the complement of that set. So A union B is therefore equal to union, remember, is the addition of two sets, meaning we're going to add set A and set B and 
the elements that are common will only be listed once. So we have one, two, three, we don't have five there, uh, sorry, we don't have four, so we can skip that, uh, we can skip four and write five. So we have one, two, three, five, seven, six, seven, nine, eight. Okay, so we have one, two, three, five, we have six, we have seven, we have eight, and nine. So to find A union B complement, you simply just um, write the elements that are present in the universal set, but not present in A union B. So these elements are simply, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There's four there, we don't have four, so we can write four there. And then there's five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's ten there, we don't have ten, so we write ten. So this is our A union, B complement. Let us quickly also find what A complement, intersection B complement is. So we first find what A complement is and also find what B complement is. And then we find the common elements between A complement and B complement. That's what intersection means. So the common elements between A complement and B complement, or before we find that, let us first find what A complement is. So A has been given according to the question as so A has been given as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And let us find what A complement is. Meaning we list all the elements that are in the universal set, excluding set A. So what that means is that we know that 1 is there, 1 is there, we leave it. We have um, 2, 3. We don't have 2 in, the, in set A, so we can write 2 there. 3, 3, 4. We don't have 4 there, we can write 4 then five five six we don't have seven seven eight we don't have and when you look at ten we also don't have ten there so we can write it because it's also part of the complement set we move on to b complement so b complement is simply just listing the uh, elements that are in the universal set excluding those that are in set b so we have 2, 3, 5, 6, 8. We have 2, 3, 5, 6, 8. So let us quickly um, list what is not in set B but present in the universal set. So we have 1, because 1 is not part of B. 2 is part, 3 is part of B. 4, we don't have 4 there, so we can write 4 there. Then 5 is part of B. 6 is part of B. 7, we don't have 7 there, so we can also write it. We have 8 is part of that set. 9, 10 is not present in B. We can write them here. So we have 9 and 10. Now the question is find A complement intersection B complement. So A complement intersection B complement will simply uh, be the common elements between uh, A complement and B complement. So when you check in these sets, we have 4 there and 4 there. 4 is common, so we write it there. It's a comma. We have 10 there and also 10 there. So we can also write 10 because it's common. Now, since the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, so you can say since the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, since the left-hand side is, is equal to the right-hand side, then... A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. So this is exactly what you are supposed to do. So this is not something difficult. These are very simple questions that everyone is, uh, is expected to solve. Yeah. So in case you have any questions or you want to ask me any questions in math, physics or chemistry, Feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen and don't forget to click on the subscription button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting and click the notification button also it's very important. Alright so see you in the next tutorial video. My name is Hamted. Shalom Shalom.